Hi there, and welcome to this RCC Library tutorial. The purpose of this video is to help you recognize that you already have the skills necessary to perform database searches and find the right articles, apply those skills to save you time and effort, and select articles that will help you write awesome papers. Let me mention that second one again. If you apply the skills you already have, you will save yourself loads of wasted time and effort. Does that make this worth a few minutes of your time? Cool, let's get started. You will want to perform these four simple steps on any search you ever do, even those outside of the databases. Number one, type in your search term. Number two, add details or more context. Number three, scan your results. Are they good? If not, go back to step one. And number four, filter down to the best. I'm going to quickly demonstrate these steps on something we all do, online shopping. Would you ever jump on Amazon and just type in shoes and then scroll through over 100,000 results? Probably not. Most likely you'd find a way to get closer to the types of shoes you want. You might add in some details like the word black and nursing if what you wanted were black nursing shoes. By adding these details, you lowered the number of results and saved yourself time scrolling endlessly. This is what it means to add context. On to step three, looking at our results. Did we do a pretty good job with our search terms? Did Amazon give us the types of results we want? Great. But how many do we still have to scroll through if we stop here? Too many. So let's move on to step number four, filtering down our results. How do we do that? We use the tools on the left. Some of the ways Amazon lets us filter shoes are by shipping, department, and brand. With each filter we choose, we get back results that are more and more what we want without having to look through 4,000 other shoes. In the land of research, we call this finding relevant results. Relevant results are where it's at right at the corner of, don't make me scroll through a bunch of stuff I don't want, and, oh, this actually supports my thesis. Now that we've practiced on something you're familiar with, let's take those same skills to something that may be new to you. You've been assigned to write a paper on a social justice issue, and you look an academic search complete using the word racism. Are you gonna look through 23,000 results? I certainly hope not. So how do we shrink our results? We add more detail. What about institutional racism? Adding that one detail brought our search results down to 470. What's next? We review our results. Are the titles and subjects similar to our ideas? Let's look at number eight. Institutional racism. Perspectives on the Department of Justice's investigation of the Ferguson Police Department this would be a great choice for a social justice issue. You can see under its subject heading the phrase police shootings. If we went back up and added that to our search, we'd narrow our results even further to articles that have both phrases, institutional racism and police shootings. That's a great way to narrow your topic and write on something very specific, something that professors love. For now though, let's go on to step four. Databases have filters just like Amazon. Perhaps your professor has told you you can only use articles that have been published within the last 10 years, and they must be scholarly, meaning no newspapers or magazines. You can narrow your search results to just scholarly by checking this box here, and we can drag this date over to 2010. Each filter we chose got us closer to meeting our topic needs meeting our professor's requirements, and saved us scrolling for days. So how did we get there exactly? We started with the search term, we added more detail, we scanned our results to make sure we were on the right path, and we filtered down to the best. I told you you knew what you were doing. Remember, however, research terms can be trickier than online shopping, so if you ever get stuck, Never ever forget, it's our job as librarians to help you get through this process. You don't have to do it alone. Come to us via chat, email, or phone, and we will walk you through your search.